What's up travelers? In this video, we're in Rome, Italy, and we're gonna walk across town on our way over to Roma Spirita, which is Anthony Bourdain's favorite restaurant, and we're gonna get his absolute favorite meal in the entire world. So stick around, check it out. So I'm standing outside of Basilica de Santa Maria Magliora. This is a very famous church here in Rome, Italy, of course. <laughs> Inside is the tomb of the famous Renaissance artist and sculptor Bernini. So behind me is the palace of the crazy Emperor Nero who famously played his fiddle as Rome burned. There's a lot of talk that Nero actually set the fire that caused Rome to burn so he could actually come and steal the land, the charred land, to build his palace. This is called the Domus Aria. What's up travelers? So I'm here at a pretty special restaurant. It's called uh, Roma Sparita. This is a place where Anthony Bourdain came and they have his absolute favorite meal, Cacio Pepe. It's only got two ingredients, Pecorino Romano cheese, cracked black pepper, and Tonarelli spaghetti noodles. This place, they actually serve it in a bowl of the Pecorino Romano cheese. And this was Anthony Bourdain's absolute favorite restaurant. I had to come and try it out. I just ordered that. I also ordered a mixed salad. I'm pretty excited for this. So something I didn't know about this place was you need a reservation. I walked clear across town in like an hour walk to get here and I'm kind of nursing a sore Achilles right now so that kind of really sucked. I got here and they were like, yeah, we don't have any room for it. Then I was like, well, can I make a reservation for the day after tomorrow? And they're like, sure. And then they're like, well, you know, let's just, let's just sit you now. So I got lucky. So you're gonna wanna make sure you get your reservation before you come here. The cacio pepe that I just ordered it is 13 euros. The salad is five euros. All right, we got the salad here. Let's get you on here. They didn't dress it at all, and it's still really good. Drizzle it with some olive oil, some black pepper. Pretty right on. Simple and the vegetables speak for themselves. 
All right, it is here. It looks amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna dig right in. Oh, look at that cheese pole. That's no good. If you want to you're gonna have to write no problem for that. Wow. So the first thing that shocks your senses is you get that Romano cheese and it just it's like a sensory overload and then as you're chewing it the black pepper just kind of comes in and just kind of kind of lightly in the background just starts kind of kicking your taste buds and then it gets stronger as you chew and stronger as you chew these noodles oh, you can tell they're fresh made like they made them since I ordered mm. my word this dish right here is what tasting travel is all about I am so glad they were able to get me in this is a dish I'll be talking about for the rest of my life Roma Sparito, where have you been all my life? And why didn't I know about you when I was here six years ago? But when you come to Rome, make it a point to come here and get this dish. Look at the cheese pole in that. That is amazing. When you first take that first bite, you get a sensory overload from that, um, that Romano cheese. And you chew and you chew and then the black pepper just comes in and it just starts to kick you in the taste buds and then it just gets stronger and stronger. And oh my god, these noodles, you can tell that they, they made them right here, right as I ordered them. And just unbelievable. I'm going to try some of this cheese. Mm. Unbelievable. Like Anthony Bourdain said, if you only have one dish to eat in Rome, make it this one. Because this may be the best dish in Rome. Anthony Bourdain thought so, so I kind of trust him, and so did my taste buds. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when the next video is posted.